February is Black History Month, and we wanted to share the story of Wilmot Sadat Singh, his number 19, hanging in the Carrier Dome rafters today. He was the first African-American athlete at Syracuse. Sadat Singh played football and basketball for SU in the 1930s, and unfortunately, he was subject to a lot of racial discrimination at schools that were still segregated that Syracuse would play, and they would not allow him to play in those games. After SU, Sadat Singh, bravely enlisted as a fighter pilot with the renowned Tuskegee Airmen during World War II. And unfortunately, he died at the young age of 25 during a training mission, but his legacy, that number 19, still strong today. Malcolm Huckabee, General to with him. You know, it's such a powerful story. Wilma Sadat Singh, his bravery, not only during Syracuse when he suffered some from so much racial racial bias but also to go on and serve the military with the Tuskegee Airmen during World War II. Well simply put uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, the sacrifices that he made uh, and what he did paving the way for so many that came after uh, simply a remarkable story. I would uh, highly recommend anybody that does not know about it go look up read about it uh, certainly uh, just all around a, a phenomenal story. So in 2005, Syracuse welcomed some living family members back to the Carrier Dome to hang and honor that number 19 in the Carrier Dome. Former Athletic Director Daryl Gross there to make that happen. And I think that was a really important thing that Syracuse Athletics did back in 2005, and the story still rings true in 2021.